Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown. I'm very excited to be with you here today on Fun Friday. Right now, I'm riding down the Queen Creek Wash going west uh, from our place. Uh, we've been riding almost an hour now, and the horse that I'm riding, this is Catalina. Catalina came to me a few weeks back, and <clears throat> she's going to be with me for four weeks total. Today, or yeah, today is the end of her third week, so she just has one more week. She's doing really well. She wasn't really used to the trail and a lot of things out on the trail, especially uh, running horses. Yesterday, we it, it got real windy last night because it was there was a storm coming in, and there were a lot of horses around the neighborhood that were they were running and, and bolting and, and playing. And we came across a couple of horses, and they were they were frantically running around. I'm excited. They were just excited. They weren't scared. They were excited, but she she kind of freaked out a little bit over that. Got her under control, and uh, she she we finally got past that incident and she's been doing much better since um, remember when when there's a storm coming usually horses especially when there's wind uh usually horses will be more excitable so if you do if you are riding and, and you're or you're working with a horse and there's more uh there's a storm coming you can tell you either know it from the weather report or you can tell from the the wind and the clouds or what have you just keep that in mind that you might have to be a little more cautious with your horses and uh <clears throat> Today for Fun Friday, first of all, I want to tell you guys, we decided to do a Meet, meet Eddie ride, a Meet Eddie Lady Horse Boss and Riata Horsemanship ride. So many of you know that we're giving away Eddie on December 31st. So it's coming up in just three short weeks, three weeks from, I think, yesterday or today. So it's, it's coming real close. And so next weekend on the 19th, so that's Sunday the 19th, we're going to be doing a Meet Eddie ride, Meet Eddie and Meet Stacy and meet, meet Luke. So we're inviting Lady Horse Boss members, paying members, as well as non-members, people who haven't joined the membership and aren't part of that community. You're welcome to come and ride with us. And we're going to the uh, Santan Regional Park. That's where we're going to park all our trailers and, and we're going to go for a ride for a couple hours. And then after that, we're going to go to Santan Flat and have some lunch around noon. So nine o'clock uh, sharp, we're gonna be leaving from Santan Regional Park. So I encourage everybody to be there at 8.30 so you can get your horses ready, meet us, chat a little bit, and then we'll be on our way at nine o'clock. So we're excited about that. Stacy and I are both gonna be there. Uh, Kylie, our marketing gal, she's gonna be there. She's actually gonna be our, our trail boss because she knows the trails over there. And I've, I've hiked over there. I actually haven't ridden in that area. So I'm excited to go for a ride and guess what i'm going to be riding eddie so i look forward to 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 riding him out there with a group of people and i uh, look forward to you guys being there and meeting us and us meeting you and today for fun friday i have a joke that i i heard this morning and i want to tell it's about a farmer who got in an accident so there's this farmer who got in a trucking accident he wasn't driving a truck he was actually driving a trailer uh, he was he was driving a tractor he wasn't driving a truck, he was driving a tractor and he was hauling a trailer with his his best cow, Bessie, in the back in that trailer. And so there was a terrible accident and a few weeks later, the farmer was in court because he was suing the trucking company. And uh, so as the as the lawyer of the trucking company started questioning him, questioning him, the lawyer asked, didn't you say that when the when the cop asked you how you were doing you said i'm fine at the scene of the accident and the farmer said well let me tell you what happened first of all i loaded my cow bessie in my trailer and the the lawyer interrupted him and said i'm not asking about bessie i'm asking didn't you say i'm fine at the scene of the accident and the farmer said well let me tell you what happened after i loaded bessie in the trailer I got in my tractor and started driving down the road. And the farmer inter the the lawyer interrupted and said, "I didn't ask you what happened with Bessie. I said, didn't you say you were fine?" Judge, and then he looks to the judge and says, "Judge, I'm trying to establish the fact that the farmer, this farmer told the policeman that he was fine at the scene of the accident. And now he's he's got a lawsuit against my client, and my trucking company." And I'm claiming that this is a fraudulent lawsuit. And the judge at this point, by this time, was pretty interested in what... <clears throat> now, we're going to be going through a tunnel up here, and I'm not sure how she handles tunnels. Uh, we'll see how, how, how it goes here. Um, 
So the judge says, you know what? I'm going to let the farmer tell his story. I'm interested in what, what he has to say. So the farmer says, like I said, I loaded my, my best cow, Bessie, in my trailer, got in my tractor, and I drove down the road. I came up upon a stop sign, and suddenly, now we got some water we're crossing here, too. So we're, we're in a, this is kind of a first for her, so see how we do here. Sorry to interrupt the joke. Got to make sure we're safe. <laughs> good girl. Really good. Awesome. She's coming along so well. So back to the joke. <laughs> so uh, the farmer said I was driving my tractor down the road. I came across, came up to a four-way stop, and a trucker ran the stop sign and plowed into my tractor. I went flying one direction into a ditch, and my cow Bessie went flying in the other direction into another ditch. And I could hear her moaning and groaning, and I knew that she must have been hurt something fierce <clears throat> and I was hurt bad too and I I couldn't I couldn't move and I was in a lot of pain well not long after the the policeman showed up and he uh, he crossed he crossed over and took a look at at my cow Bessie and Bessie was in a lot of pain and she was moaning and groaning and suddenly BAM the policeman shot her right between the eyes to make sure that she was out of pain. And so then the policeman walked across the street and walked over to the ditch where I was laying and the policeman asked me, are you all right? How are you feeling? And the farmer then looked at the judge and said, now tell me judge, what would you tell that policeman? <laughs> oh, it's always good to hear a good joke and, and laugh a little bit. Uh, we've had We've had uh, quite the interesting month moving and getting everything situated and I apologize for not getting on and doing these videos much for the last couple of weeks. We've just been so busy and you know sometimes sometimes you have to take a little bit of a mental check out when when it comes to to things in life and we certainly we're getting we're getting established and I love this area. I love riding in this area. This Queen Creek Wash is awesome. I love these horses I'm working with gonna finish up a couple horses next week bring a couple more in we have a couple horses that are gonna be here for more six weeks eight weeks that kind of thing so we're uh, we're excited to be here in Santan Valley in Queen Creek and we're excited for our lady horse boss Riata horsemanship meet Eddie ride trail ride next weekend the 19th of December Sunday the 19th at Santan Regional Park and then we're gonna be eating at Santan flat after that hope to see you guys there until next time be thankful Live with purpose, live with passion, and as always, stay safe in the saddle. <laughs>